<sighs> Hello. Did you, by any chance, donate to the Volunteer Vampire Supply blood bank? I am aware that's an unusual question, but... Oh, you did. Splendid. You must be the one I'm looking for, then. But oh, where are my manners? You may call me Val in this time period. And if you have not yet figured it out, I am in fact a vampire. Under any other circumstances, vampires would not be allowed to seek out any donors for the safety of all involved. But I use some rather, let's call them unorthodox methods of questioning to obtain some very confidential data about you. Please don't tell anyone. I... <sighs> I am very well aware how strange this must sound to you. A stalker finding your name and home address over some blood you donated in good heart. And before I forget, I most certainly must thank you for your service. In this day and age, as it is illegal for vampires to draw blood from anyone without consent, as it should be, and proper blood donations are needed in the hospitals, any drop towards the VVS is more than appreciated by any and all members of the Vampire Society. I am aware of how terrifying it must be to have somebody show up at your house after donating. And I am so terribly sorry for it, but I cannot get enough of your blood. I tasted the small dose necessary to keep a vampire alive as resources are sparse, but... Have you ever had a wine so good that suddenly everything else loses taste? When you find something so delicious, sweet and nutritional, anything else would feel like oil within your mouth. It is obvious what I'm attempting to say, is it not? Your blood to me is like liquid moonlight on a warm summer night. It tastes of smooth silk and exquisite, sweet as wine. I believe I may never be able to consume any other kind of blood again. I would rather starve to death than to ever drink a drop of that filthy mud water ever again, knowing that pure heaven runs through your veins. And I truly apologize for confronting you without warning. I completely understand if you need more time or wish not to, but may I ask you to become mine? All the riches I have acquired in those long years spent upon earth could be yours. You may live in any castle you wish, have balls and fantastic dances if you so desire. I could grant you immortality and infinite riches in exchange, but please, I cannot live another day without you. I humbly request. No. Beg 
of you. Please join me. Be mine. I will give you anything you may have ever wished for and more in exchange for a little blood every now and then. I will make sure you are kept at best health and mental well-being. I will gift you fresh bouquets of your favorite flower each day. Spend as much time with you as you wish. Prepare your favorite meals. Travel the world with you if you say, say the word. Anything for you. Oh, but of course. Take your time. I do suggest we get to know each other a little before you decide on such an important matter. Simply because I am passionate about something or someone, in this case, does not mean the person reciprocates. Forgive me, darling. But... I simply must have you. Oh. You are not frightened of me, are you? If I did spook you, I must sincerely apologize. I promise you I am not usually like this, but the thought of not having you in my life is filling me with unease, something I can only describe as possessiveness. Very quite uncommon for me. Simply seeing you here, taking in your alluring scent, almost feeling the air pulsing with each of your heartbeats. Forgive me, but I... I must contain myself. Otherwise, how would you agree to live with me if this was your first and only impression of me? Bloodthirsty monster unable to keep themselves in control. How would that look on me? And the vampiric society. But I simply must have you to myself. That smell. The thought of your blood, your skin, your warmth. I cannot. Damn it. I must stay calm for now. Would you agree with spending a day with me? Any place you desire. I shall play entirely after your rules. And you may test me in any way, and decide whether you would mind being with me for a while. Will that be alright with you? Yes. I suppose you could call it a date. It would? Hmm. Perfect. Do you have your cellular device on you? I will give you my number, and you shall decide when and where you would like to meet. You may also leave the choice to me if you prefer. In my time I have gathered quite a few nice places to visit. All will be my treat, of course. So, do not shy away from expensive places. Ah, uh, what would this time period call it? A 
sugar mummy? I would be more than willing. I would be more than willing to offer myself as your sugar mommy in exchange for your time and some of your blood every now and then. Nothing you don't consent to, of course. But would it be too much to ask a small sip for good measure? I apologize. I certainly am overstepping. You do not mind? Are you sure, my little lamb? This is a very different experience than having somebody shove a needle in your arm. And you barely know me, after all. You have every right and reason to say no. And I would absolutely respect your decision. You're certain? You have no concept of how much this means to me. The drinking of one's blood is a very intimate process. Do not worry, my dear. The pain will be brief. And you likely will end up enjoying it. Oh, your skin is so smooth and soft. Its coloration and texture is simply... A piece of art. That's what you are, my dear. May I? Good God, that's good. <laughs> Apologies for you. Pinning you against the wall like this. <laughs> good God. Even better when you have adrenaline rushing through you like this.
apologize. I hope I did not go too far. I told you it would be quite intimate. Seeing you flustered like this is almost making me want to do it again, my little lamb. You are truly too beautiful to even be from this world. And I promise you, I am not simply saying that to flatter you. Thank you for your service, my sweet. Do not worry about a wound. I licked up most of the blood, and due to my saliva, all should heal quite quickly. If I did not scare you too much, would you still consider my offer? Take your time for now, my little lamb. Think well and hard on this decision. But I will not have the patience to wait for long. I want you, and only you, my dear. And if I cannot have you, There's no promise of what I would and would not do. Rest easy now. And shoot me a message sometime soon.